The clinic is here. Yeah. We got room in the building. Y'all. It's the Black Rapper Show. And the Black Rapper Show. My brother Rube, R-E-U-B, Google him. Quentin Sparks is like doing some skits on the album. He stamps it. You know who he is and you know it's official. But let's get started. First track, Off The Break, the Black Rapper Show, title track. Word play, word play, word play. I love lyricists. Rube, you got me early. Wasn't no talking, no fake skits. You went straight in. All right, the title... Well, this is the title track to me. This is what I know root for. The first song I ever heard, Lamborghini Doors. I had, I'm speechless about it. I always have been. I'm not even going to speak on the song. You're going to have to Google it, check for yourself. Um, I'll say this, though. There's a message early, even in a hook. Like, if you know what a Lambo door does, it opens up. Well, like, it opens, like, literally opens up. But anyway, that's what he does. He opens up. He gives you himself wordplay. Like I said, Lambo Doors. Um... Matter of fact, I, in my notes here, I'm sorry, I did have a quote. Um, He said something about how he had to drop you yahoos, and you know what I'm saying, now he's getting gigs, like Gmail, like gigs, you know, megabytes, but gig like a job or shit. Anyway, all right, next track, Smoke and Mirrors. This is like what life really is. It's my comparisons to your lives. Like, you say you're balling, like you got NBA money, but like really you're only balling with like this balling on the basketball court. Well, anyway, that's that's what Smoke and Mirrors is. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's truth in your lives. Like, you say something, then exaggerate on it a little bit. Well, Rude speaks on that. I like how I broke that down. Arms of a Stranger. Um, This is a story with a purpose. I'm, I'm really not even going to this one because I want to know what you people think. Like, I all I can say about this is just listen. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, I guess about, like, the insecurities people have within themselves. So, who they go to to the vent and let their things out about, uh, I guess the shrink, your parents, whatever. But anyway, arms of a stranger. I guess it wouldn't be your parents because it says the arms of a stranger. But I caught that, so no harm, no foul. Uh, next, Summer Breeze. Simply what it sounds like, you know, the old song, got a sample of Summer Breeze. Just having fun, you know, picnics, uh, I'm at the park. Kicking it with my girl, go to the movies, but you probably won't go to the movies in summertime. You don't feel the breeze, you're indoors. But hey, whatever, summer breeze. Hip hop. Another song, I'm just gonna say just listen because what it is is well hip hop and they're just bars on here. Like he's just spitting. Probably the track I should have been invited on, but I wasn't, so Rube, it's all good. But since I'm mad that I wasn't on it, that lets you know he went in. Check it out, hip hop. Overdrive. <laughs> I really don't want to read y'all what I got here for my notes. I wrote you old soul. Got Brandon Best on the hook. This is that lady. I love you, baby. You're my queen. The now divinity mother of the earth song. Some woman's going to fall in love with him for that. If he has a girlfriend, Rube, you'll probably be getting married. If you already married, you'll probably be having another kid after you make this song. Your girl's here. Shout out to that. Overdraft. Oh, Brandon Best, what's up? NWA, you know what that stands for. I don't really have to talk on it. Uh, just a play on words, pretty much. Uh, black on white. There's a lot of white and black references. Like, let's say I uh, throw in a white towel. I'm not going to give the song away. You're just going to have to listen to it. But it's some real catchy wordplay. And I like to think I know a thing or two about wordplay. So trust me. Uh, hustler, 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 hustler. There's three people on this. And I already said there was a song called Hip Hop that was just bars. Well, this song is hip hop. It's called Hustler. Um, it's a, one of those cypher type beats where they just, da -da 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 and you know, like it just, it, it, it gives you that essence that I'm on the corner with my dudes, freestyle, cypher. I'm going to play off your last word. You're going to go off mine. We're going to take a concept. Like if I say something about hanging on the block, you're going to say something about hanging from the rim or hanging from a tree. we just going to catch each other's words and play with it. It's that song. Uh, Chips. That's about, um. well, you got the chip on my shoulder. That, that was mentioned on the song. Chips pretty much is the money, the pursuit of it or the lack thereof. But both points of view. Um, either you have it or you don't. Rube tells you about, I mean, he kind of visualized what it would be like to have it. But I guess since we live in a moderation, like we live in moderate times, like I don't really have it like that. I'm going to tell you more so what I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what Chips is. Real, 
Real introspective type song. I really, really love Chips. Check this out. Rude, by the way, is an introspective type person. Like, he has lyrics in his wordplay, but he doesn't emphasize it. Like, you have to catch it. If you're a lyricist, you'll hear it. But it's like, I'm not here. Here's a punchline. Here's a metaphor. Listen to this. It's not that. It's a... Uh, it's, it's real rap with some real rap mixed in, if, if you get what I mean by that. I'm sorry, I just did double entendres there. Uh, how can I say this for, for the hip-hop for dummies? It's, uh, it's just the truth in a slick manner. Remaking love. Eh, remaking love. What does it sound like? One of those beautiful type songs. I'm not going to speak on because, again, I don't like that topic. Sorry. The love joint. I'm like, really? Again, a love song? But it's not. Uh, this is about just, it's, it's love because it's, I care about the people, you know what I'm saying? It's like about the future, like, talking about the kids and, and, and where we're going with our society, it's just the love joint, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I care, like, I want, I, I guess I gotta make a gospel reference, it's like, you know, teach the kids in the way they should go, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we're the reason, so... Watch what you're doing. Lead by example. You're a role model. Rube, I respect you for that song, brother. Um, rewind. Okay, what I said about rewind is that you're going to have to rewind the beat because the beat is amazing. And that's not all I said. It, it's catchy. I really don't even know what the song's about uh, because I hate to tell you this. I was watching the bootleg. My sister was playing. You know, I kind of looked over, seeing Taraji P. Henson, you know, she's from the DMV, so I was supporting her on that Medea movie, so y'all get back to me about that, just like on EXO's album, I'm gonna give you one song that's like a test, so you tell me what it's about, that way I know you listen to the album. He cussed a lot, he said the F word all through it, but for some strange reason, I really didn't mind it. It's like it was, it was putting emphasis on what he meant, you know what I'm saying, it's like I'm passionate, I really mean what I'm saying, and there was one line I did like on that song, he was like, uh... When I receive love, it's sweet, but even for the people that loathe me, they get a kiss on the cheek. And if you was on your mafia stuff, you know, the kiss on the cheek, that's like the kiss goodbye. So, like, even for you haters, I got love for you. Like, whatever. Good. That, that was slick. Rude. That's honestly something I might have wrote. Like, I think I ghost wrote that for you, and I don't remember. But anyway, props for you for that. Uh, The next song, I made it. It's funny. It reminds me of another VA artist, uh phrase shots out to him it's pretty much that i made it like okay you know i'm i'm this young black guy you might have thought i wasn't gonna make it to this point in life but i'm here you know what i'm saying I, I got a little money got a job i'm doing my thing and then it's also visualizing envision with foresight the future like i made it in this rap game like i know you probably thought i wasn't gonna make it but i knew i was good so regardless of what you say like i'm here and you can see me because i'm rude the black rapper show with excerpts from Clinton Spark. It's on Google, look me up. That would've been like the perfect segue to end, but sorry to have another song or two. Um, Hustler, the last track, the DMV mix. You know what, I'm not gonna speak on it. Because what it is, is the same as the other Hustler song, just with more artists on it. More artists, more artists, some sick lyrical people that only somebody like Rube would've brought to you. I judge on categories like lyrics, uh, wordplay, and this is where Rube uh, like outshines some of the other artists, or this might raise his grades. The beats are, are phenomenal. That's like a 10 easy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not any blow me away type lines, because, you know, so I kind of like the battles. So I like those dumb, catchy punch lines. But, like, if you're one of those smart type people, high IQ having folks, You'll love the wordplay, you'll love the lyrics because he's actually saying something. And to be able to have wordplay and mention it in the midst of content, that's a, a talent all to itself. So I'll say that plus the beats, the rewindability, the fact that there's no outlandish lies, like I'm selling bricks in my hook and I killed 16 people in the first verse. For that, my dude, I'm giving it, because I like hip hop, I'm giving it a 95, man. It's the Black Rapper show. It's cool. Hands in the air, shirt off, I just blazed it. Crowd still hype, even with the lights faded. Yo, I guess I made it. Yes, I made it.